Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer DIY upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a Lenovo computer that's not booting up to Windows and during the startup process, it's getting stuck uh, on either a black screen blinking cursor issue or an exiting PXE ROM error or something like that that's stopping your computer from booting up. Before we get going guys, please remember to like the video if this does help you out, share it if you feel like someone else can benefit. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer, but if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free to. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. For those of you who would like to support the channel a little more, you can leave a tip and there's a couple different ways of doing that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Okay, so now that's out of the way. Let's get into the project. So an issue like this that's stopping your Lenovo from booting up is most likely caused by your computer trying to access the operating system, trying to access the hard drive or wherever the operating system is stored and not being able to. That's why you're seeing these variety of errors. So what we're going to do now is try to narrow it down, troubleshoot, try to find out what's causing this problem. And as is the case with troubleshooting, we're going to start with the easiest or the cheapest fixes first, troubleshoot those. If those do not turn out to be the cause, we'll move on to the more complicated troubleshooting or the more expensive fixes. The first test I'm going to have you run is to make sure no external devices are confusing your computer. Uh, what could be happening is your computer may be seeing an external device plugged in and trying to boot off that instead of where your operating system is stored. So a USB mouse, a USB keyboard, an external hard drive or solid state drive you use for storage, anything external, unplug it and then try to turn your computer on, see if that was the issue. If this does turn out to be your issue, guys, go into BIOS when your computer starts up and check out your boot priority order. Make sure that your hard drive or solid state drive, wherever your operating system is, make sure that's set to first. If it's not set to first, your computer could be trying to boot from elsewhere. Make sure it's set to first so when your computer loads, the first place it goes is your hard drive. If that doesn't turn out to be your issue, we're going to move on to the second part of this test. We're going to test your actual hard drive or solid state drive where the operating system is. We're going to do what's called reseeding it. Uh, we're going to unplug it, make sure that it's clean, and we're going to try to plug it in and make sure that it's secure. I'll show you how to do that now. So for the sake of an example, I have another laptop computer flipped over here. I'm using this computer because it has an easy access panel. Uh, for the video, it's a lot easier to get into this. Your computer may or may not have one of these. Many computers do, some do not. If you have to take off your entire bottom case because you don't have one, it's a little more complicated, but it's doable. Uh, send me a comment with what brand and model number computer you have, and I can help you get into your computer. Uh, usually you would just unscrew screws that go around it. Uh, sometimes they're under the rubber feet and you would take off your bottom case. For me, it's a little easier. I'm just gonna pop up this little access thing right here, unscrew my single screw that's holding in this panel, and I just pop this panel out like that. So again, it's a lot easier if your computer has an easy access panel. Another thing to look for, guys, you see my computer is sitting on an anti-static pad. Either a pad like this or an anti-static bracelet is a really good idea to limit the chance of harm you can do your computer when entering it. If you guys need a list of supplies, I'm also using a screwdriver and a plastic pry tool. If you guys have any questions on supplies, check out the link above in the video. Um, it'll be a supply tools list that I use here in the shop. So to reseat a hard drive or unplug it and plug it back in, usually hard drives, solid state drives, they're held in by a caddy. We're gonna unscrew that caddy. And again, this computer ha has two hard drives. Most likely, a lot of you guys, your computer will only have one. But we're going to do the one with the operating system on it if you have to. Going to unscrew the caddy. And then we're going to slide the hard drive away from its port and take it fully out. Make sure that it's held in securely into the caddy. It's not loose. There's actually a, a, a little bit of wiggle there. So I'm going to tighten my hard drive screws in the caddy. And then I'm going to set my hard drive back in 
Make sure it's lined up correctly and give it a good push right into the port and then I'm going to screw it back in. That's what we do to reseat a hard drive to make sure that a plug-in connection issue is not the reason why the computer won't see it. If that doesn't turn out to be your issue, we're going to move on to the next test. I'm going to start up my computer right now and I'll show you what I'm going to do on my Lenovo. So the first thing I'm going to do here is hit my power button, start tapping on enter. Just a quick note guys, this computer, it was Enter that got me into that menu. A lot of Lenovo's, it's F1, sometimes it's F2, sometimes it's Escape, and some Lenovo's will have a Nova button on the side or the back that'll get you into that. So it, it depends on your model. If you can't find it, leave me a message with what model you have and I can help you get into that. Also, not all Lenovo's have Lenovo diagnostic software. If your model does, then you can run this test with me. If your model does not, I'll skip this part because you won't have a uh, hardware diagnostic. If you are with me here, if you have the diagnostic, we're going to go down to storage test. Uh, you may see hard drive test. Not all BIOS is going to be the same. So if you have a different version, you can still find the information. It just may look different. So I'm going to arrow down to storage test or, or hard drive test, whatever you're seeing. Enter. And what I want is the smart short self test. You really want to be thorough. Feel free to run all these tests. Same thing back here. You can run all these hardware tests. Um, but again, you may only need to run that short test if, if that comes up with an error. If your test comes back and says the hard drive is not installed, that may mean it's just loose. So if you haven't done that reseating of the hard drive yet, that would be a good time to do it if it says it's not installed. Um, after you reseed it, turn the computer on, try this diagnostic again. If it's still saying uninstalled, or if it gives you an actual error on the hard drive, that's a good chance, guys, that your hard drive is bad, you probably need to replace it, and then install a uh, operating system. In this main window here, we're actually gonna enter BIOS now, so F1, and again, your options may be different, but mine is F1 to get to BIOS. So here we go. And again, as mentioned before, your BIOS may not look the same. There's all different versions of BIOS, all different years. You're, it may not look the same, but the information will be there. There's several things here that you want to check out. I'm going to arrow or tab or use your mouse, however you can navigate BIOS. Tab over to the date and time, and you want to make sure this is correct. If it's not correct, you're going to fix it. Save and exit, which in my case is F10, and you're going to restart the computer. If that solves your issue, then great. You found out what was going on. It was a one-time BIOS error. If that doesn't solve your issue and you have to change that system date and time every time you start your computer, guys, that could indicate that your motherboard is losing power when your computer shuts off and your settings are being reset. Um, if that's the case, you may want to consider uh, replacing your CMOS battery. That's the component on the motherboard that is supposed to keep power to it when your computer turns off. So if your settings are resetting, um, then that could be an indication that, that component needs to be changed. Another thing to check here, guys, go over to your startup tab. In my case, it's startup. Some of you will find it in security. Um, but going down here, you see the UEFI or legacy boot. Long story short, this dictates how your computer is booting up, how the operating system is loading. You want to switch to whatever it's not. So right here, I'm showing legacy first. Some of you may see legacy enabled or UEFI enabled. Whatever is enabled, you're going to disable it and go to the other one. Um, and then again, save and exit, restart your computer, see if it works. If that doesn't work, then we'll move on. Another thing you could do here is you could load setup defaults or in effect factory resetting your BIOS. Um, if you don't have that option or you can't find it, there'll be a video link below in the description to show you how to manually reset BIOS. It's a little more involved, but again, it involves getting at that CMOS battery to reset BIOS. Another thing you guys can check, if you find any uh, restore or recovery options or repair options for your operating system, you can do that. Um, also, sometimes you'll find options on undoing last update. Some of you may be here because of a Windows update and then your computer didn't boot up the next time. You can find an option for undo last update. But these are all some options in BIOS uh, that you can play around with. So if none of those things found your issue and the hard drive tested to be healthy, 
then it's most likely not a hardware issue, it's most likely not a BIOS issue. At this point, it's most likely an operating system issue, in which case, the next step would be to install an operating system. There'll be links below in the description on how to install Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on what you want. There'll be links for where you can purchase uh, Windows 10 or 11 install media, or there'll also be links for videos showing you how you can create your own install media for free if you have another computer handy so you can do that. If you are one of the people that did not have any Lenovo Diagnostic on your computer, then you're still at this spot. You weren't able to test your hard drive, you don't know if it's good or bad, so your next step would still be to install an operating system. If the installation goes through, then your hard drive is healthy and the OS was the issue. If the installation fails, it's most likely due to a bad hard drive at this point. You would replace the hard drive as if you had located an error on a diagnostic and you would install the operating system to the new hard drive. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. As mentioned before, please remember to like and share if it helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. And if you want to support the channel a little further by leaving a tip, it's very appreciated. Thank you so much for watching again. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.